Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I headed out today to pick up a few things. Um, so I've got a watermelon over here. Um, just a few items that I thought, you know, would be good to kind of, kind of top off your preps, I guess. Um, these last quite a while and I like these. I do make a lot of Chex Mix in general, but I also just really like them by themselves mixed with some cashews or peanuts or something. And it's a great snack. You don't need anything on it, not to me at least. Um, so I picked up a couple more boxes of those. Um, some ibuprofen, some um, aluminum foil, uh, a couple of deodorants. And I really like this, the stress response. And if this is the invisible type. Um, so it's kind of like a gel, you know. But anyway, if you haven't tried any, it's really good. Um, this I was really excited to find. I kept looking, I've been looking for a while for it. And um, so I finally just asked behind the counter and I said, do you have any clove oil? So she reached right behind her, oh yeah, it's right here. But apparently they just don't put this on the shelf. So this is good for toothaches and things like that. Um, so I got some clear eyes. Um, not that my eyes are bothering me, but just in case, you know, um, some earache drops. Again, it's not bothering me, but you know, you may need it sometime. Uh, some children's Motrin, um, it's like just chewable, it's great. Uh, Camphophenique, my mother used to talk about this a long time ago, so I was excited to see that. Um, picked up some um, tea tree oil and some Listerine with the strong teeth stuff, like just fluoride in it. A couple flowers, of course, because I do that every time I go. Um, this I was super excited about. This is, I have this in my Amazon cart, and I'd put it in, take it out, put it in, take it out. And so it's called Taco Complete. So I'm going to try this today. Um, heat stuff and eat, and it's original taco meat filling. I hope so, because um, so far I have not learned how to can yet. And one of the things I'm going to miss is hamburger meat, if I ever can't get it fresh, you know. Um, so I want something kind of in place of that. I've already torn into these. I had to have a snack last night, so um, I found a big four-pack um, chunk chicken breast thing on the way home. Um, a couple of roast beefs there. Uh, so I picked up six cans of the Keystone chicken they had in stock. They were, I was really surprised yesterday, and I've been hearing a lot about um, shortages and running low and shelves being bare and things like that. But yesterday, the shelves were pretty bare um, in a lot of spots. And it, it really, it just, it does not give you a good feeling. Like this is what we prepped for. I don't know why they were bare. I mean, maybe it was it was because it was Saturday and people just hit it hard. I hope that's the reason. Um, unfortunately, I don't think so, but you never know. But anyway, just stay in stock up. Um, some cheese popcorn again, I love cheese popcorn. Um, some uh, fresh shells for my for my taco meat down there. Uh, some more of the Wolf brand chili. Um, some let's see. Oh, razors. Yeah, it's always good to pick up those on the way. Um, some extra sambucol, and every good prepper picks up a couple bags of rice when they go. Um, some band aid like heart free wrap tape. Um, I didn't, I realized we have some wraps and things, but I didn't have any tape, so. Uh, some Pepsi Complete. Um, a couple of little body sprays here. Um, I was looking at this Paris Hilton perfume at Ulta the other day. I think it was Ulta, Sephora, somewhere. And it's like, I don't know, 70 bucks or something. And this is like five bucks. So, <laughs> I thought, eh, you know, it'll be fine. It may not be as strong or last as long, but it'll smell a lot like it. It'll be fine. Um, and, hey, if you want to use it in an SHTF situation, you know, you're probably not going to be able to bathe as often, so you need to cover up that stink, right? <laughs> All right, just saying. Um, I picked up, oh, this was definitely one of the shortages I saw. There were no beans, none whatsoever, uh, of the pinto beans, and no brand. There were no, I, my favorite is bushes, which is on the bottom here, um, but there were none in that store. That was uh, Walmart. Okay, so... This was at Walmart here, though. I did pick up the chili with beans. Um, Campbell's Chunky, it's my favorite brand. The Mandarin Oranges in the Great Value brand. These are going out until at least 24. 
Um, so Best Buy date is 24. I think that's great. I mean, because I eat these things a lot. And so I'm tempted to go back and get another case. Um, and then I picked up a case of the uh, um, Bush's baked bean. I mean, I'm sorry, Bush's pinto beans. That was at Food City. So this is kind of a combo haul of Walmart and Food City together. Um, and surprisingly, they only had enough for this case. So, you know, I don't know. Anyway, uh, and their shelves were there too of all the brands. So I picked up just a shells and cheese. I had plenty of that, but I just wanted to um, have one soon. So I thought, you know, I always, if I eat one, I put one back. Um, these Kellogg's Club Mini Crackers, I love these. They are fabulous and they last forever. Like, I don't know what the date says. Uh, May of 22, but they'll last way past that. Um, and then I got the same brand in the larger crackers, but they're just wrapped uh, in stacks. Okay, picked up some more shampoo, um, some hydrating facial cleanser here, the CeraVe. Um, on, oh, some hydrogen peroxide spray. Um, some stuff for my dogs, uh, antifungal, some kind of spray, and a uh, hot spot and itch relief. One of my dogs does have a hot spot. It seems like he gets one every single summer. Um, and kind of close to the same spot. Close to the same spot. Anyway, I got some uh, Burt's Bees for Dogs oatmeal shampoo. They're getting a bath this week. Um, some dog food. We'll try this Blue Wilderness. See if they like that. And then their regular dog food. A couple of... Um, couple bags of that. Now I picked up some junk food, got some more oatmeal cream pies, some, oh, these, these ding-dongs, y'all, trust me, the white fudge ones, oh yeah, they are fabulous. Uh, the flexible roll, rolled gauze band-aid stuff. Um, okay, let's come out here. Uh, a little container of cut-up pineapple, some grapes, some celery, some, uh, the Gatorade has been low forever, everybody knows about that, but um, some pretzel bites, some suspenders for my father, you, you, and a bra for me. You need to think of things like this, though, because, um, shipping-wise, they're going to, you know, possibly get hard to get. I don't know, but, um, we need to, to look at those practical things, too. So, all right, guys, that is my haul for today. I've got to, uh, go back to the dentist this week sometime, hopefully. So, um, uh, yeah. I'm going to make another run. <laughs> I will talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.